exported 118 billion US dollars and India exported 18 billion US dollars to each other. It is undeniable that India exports too little to China. Every time China claims something is undeniable, chances are it is attempting to either assert what's at the very least disputed, if not an outright lie, or it is a cover-up for an ominous underlying Chinese design. The world has seen that on several occasions in the past. China has used such phrases while claiming large swaths of the South China Sea, Taiwan, areas along the border with India, and over several other issues in the past. But what the Chinese Council General said in that short soundbite is an exception. It is one of those rare occasions when you can take a CCP official statement at face value and not feel duped later. The chasm between India's exports and imports by China grew wider than $100 billion in 2022 and continues to grow wider. Last year, our bilateral trade reached a new record, $138 billion. US dollars. China exported 118 billion US dollars and India exported 18 billion US dollars to each other. These figures are not telling the full story. Quite a lot of China's exports are intermediate products which finally become Indian export to other countries. Even so, it is undeniable that India exports too little to China. India's imports from China include electrical and mechanical machinery, a variety of intermediate goods used by industries, active pharmaceutical ingredients, auto parts, medical supplies, integrated circuits, laptops and computers, oxygen concentrators and intermediate products such as chemicals. According to government data out of the last 10 years, China has been India's largest trading partner for six. Five years in a row from 2013-14 to 2017-18 and then in 2020-21. While India's trade with China saw a decrease of 1.5% in 21-22, down from $115 billion to $113.8 billion, Chinese imports saw an increase of 4%. While Indian exports to China, which were already abysmally low, fell further by a whopping 28%. Despite acrimony in the relations that set in after China decided to challenge India's territorial integrity, which led to border clashes in 2020, India's trade deficit with China crossed $100 billion for the first time in 2020. India's overall exports are set to cross the $750 billion mark this year. But for India to have a serious stab at $2 trillion in exports goal by 2030, Indian industry will have to pitch in. Earlier in February this year, India's External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar exhorted India Inc. to pick up the slack and take the responsibility to bridge the widening gap between India and China by sourcing intermediate goods domestically. Minister Jayashankar further said that the Atmanirbha Bharat initiative of the government is intended to send out a message to the industry to source domestically. If not addressed in time, the trade gap could have national security implications for India. Currently, India's exports to China include stones such as granite, sandstone, basalt and porphyry, iron ores and concentrates, roasted iron pyrites, vegetable fats and oils such as jojoba oil. Either many more items need to be added to this list to bridge the trade gap, or India needs to invest in developing industries that can supply the intermediate goods needed by Indian industries. The question is, can India do it? Consider this, from $11.9 billion in 2014-15, India's exports to China have risen 78.1% to $21.25 billion last year. So while India's exports to China have grown at a reasonable pace, it is the imports that have grown at a much quicker speed. For now, India is hoping that the production-linked incentive schemes for different sectors will enable it to reduce its dependence on such imports over time and coupled with technical regulations framed for products such as toys, electronics, chemicals and fertilizers, India will be able to narrow this gap. Given China is the world's biggest manufacturer for most goods, India will find it difficult to increase its exports to China in the short run. Experts believe India will do well if it can cut down on Chinese imports to narrow down the trade deficit.